Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. Look, if you're looking for a short-term loan and you have low income, you own government benefits or something like that, you may want to check out Uprova. And here's the thing about it. Like, even if you have a high debt to income ratio, Uprova may be able to help you. Now, their loans go anywhere from 300 up to 5,000. But the cool part about this, they actually will do a soft pull on the credit. So you don't have to worry about them actually doing a hard pull on the credit. Now, here's something that I want you all to know and understand. When these lenders tell you that they're going to do a soft pull, please remember, they're not going to do a soft pull on your Equifax Experience TransUnion. What they do, they use other third uh, third-party credit bureaus. So the third-party credit bureaus would be like Clarity, which is owned by Experian. It may be like um, Data X, which is owned by Equifax. Factor Trust, which is owned by TransUnion. Okay, so they may use any of those, or they may use LexisNexis. And most of the time, what they're looking for. They understand you may have challenging credit, but what they are looking for is to see if you've recently filed a bankruptcy. Okay, so just keep that in mind with dealing with these here lenders, all right? Now, here's the other thing that you have to keep in mind is like in terms of they do let you know how much you qualify, but here's here, see what I mean? What if I have poor to no credit, all right? And this is their writing. OK, for short term loans are designed to help individuals with bad credit or no credit. We base our decision on information you have provided in your application. Now, since they said they based information that's provided in your application, I want you all to understand it. if you are on disability, welfare or something like that. However, you have somebody else that helps contribute to the household that you may be renting out a room for, okay? And so they give you income. You need to put that income on this application. So it gives you a higher chance of being approved, okay? Now, I'm not saying deceive uh, this institution, but what I am telling you that if you have contributing household income that helps you pay your bills and stuff like that, then that's income that's contributed towards you Yes, you should be able to use it. Now, if you have a uh, child support alimony, that also accounts. Now, if you're retired, okay, like I said, with your retired veteran or you on disability benefits and stuff, at the same time, make sure that if you have a spouse that has income, make sure that you include that income on the application, okay? Now, like I said, this here is a tribal lender, and what I put, what you may not know is that with Uprover is not a payday lender. All right, now with payday lenders, their interest loan, their interest on their loans fluctuates. Okay, but this here is a simple interest loan that they actually offer. Okay, so that makes it even better because it's simple interest. Now, please understand the interest rate may be higher. Especially when you have bad credit or uh, you have challenges getting access to funding. But at the same time, because it is a simple interest, you know exactly what you're getting without being fluctuated, okay, on the interest rates, all right? And the good part about it, like I said, with Uprover, they are a, a tribal lender. Now, in terms of where do they get their money from, I always tell you guys, when you go to like uh, to Vegas, to the casinos and stuff like that, and you gamble and you lose that money, what they do, uh, these lenders, now Uprover is on the West Coast, so they're not in Vegas, but they are a tribal lender. What they do, they take their casino money that they won and they reloan it out to the, to the community and stuff like that at a higher interest rate, but at the same time, they still loan the money out. Now, one of the things I will tell you, Make sure so that you have a higher chance of approval for this type of loan. Make sure that you have an active checking account. That's very important. A lot of people will go to these third party uh, lenders to borrow, but they don't have active checking accounts. Okay, so you have to have an active checking account. 
They may want to have a, a active email and an active phone number as well. So don't assume that because you don't have a, or don't assume that you can get by with not having an active checking account. Okay, they don't want prepaid, they want active checking accounts, all right? So that way it can help you. Now, if you have any other questions about business credit funding, uh, personal credit funding, removing negative items off of the credit, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.